Jesus. Praise Jesus. Amen. You know, I said to myself that way, like, new month. Mm -hmm. December. Would you celebrate in December? Ooh, the birth of Jesus Christ. The birth of Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. So, let's start in the same spirit of celebrating mm -hmm. and adoring Jesus. We have a beautiful song. Yes, are you ready to sing it to me? Yes, I'm ready. Are you? I am. <laughs> Lord Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. our Savior. Our Savior. <laughs> oh, so, yes. Let's take it away. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Christ the Lord. Oh, come, let us adore him. wonderful time so let us pray almighty everlasting father we thank you for this beautiful day that you have given us lord thank you for the gift of life thank you for all the boys and the girls thank you for all the parents the teachers and everyone lord you have given us around our lives oh god we pray that even as we get to learn the lesson of today be with us oh god our father and let us put the, the word that we learn into practice in jesus name we pray and believe Amen. All the boys and the girls say, Amen. Indeed, it's another beautiful time. And we are about to share a beautiful story about Joseph Dream. Say, Joseph Dream. Joseph, do you know who Joseph is? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. What are you telling your, your sister or your brother or your mommy? Uh-huh. Yes, he was the husband to Mary, and something happened to him. So one time, as Joseph was just in his, his going about his life, and this time Mary became pregnant, but Mary became pregnant by the power of the Holy Spirit. But Joseph was like, hmm, Mary is pregnant. What will people say? And I'm not sure how she got pregnant. And he decided quietly in his mind that he was going to divorce Mary, that he was going to get separated from Mary, he was going to get away from Mary. But this is what happened. As Joseph was sleeping, you know when you're sleeping and you have your blanket like this, and then you're sleeping like... <laughs> in the dream, an angel appeared to Joseph, and the angel told Joseph, do not be afraid. Why? Do you know why, boys and girls? Because the angel told Joseph that Mary is pregnant through the power of the Holy Spirit. And the child that, he, uh, that she's going to give birth to is the Savior, that is Jesus Christ. And he will save the world from all the sins. Imagine all sins. You can't count, you can count so many sins, but this Savior was coming to take all the sins of the world. And these were the, the words that were fulfilled by God, uh, through the, uh, the words that were spoken by the prophet, and God was able to fulfill them. God had spoken them so many years ago through prophet, uh, prophet Maker, and Finally, the words came to be true. A savior is born. And still, as Joseph was in the dream, he was told, this boy, Jesus Christ, he's called the savior. He'll be called uh, Emmanuel, which means God with us. Emmanuel, God with us. And finally, so Joseph was like, hmm. And after that dream, Joseph was able to take 
his wife Mary and now he was no longer afraid and he was okay and he was like indeed it's the Lord's work and they continued on well until Jesus Christ was born so boys and girls remember the angel of the Lord spoke to Joseph so that he was told that do not be afraid remember even you don't be afraid even teacher Veronica don't be afraid don't be afraid about anything because when God says his word it comes to pass all right like for example if God tells you that you are beautiful and fearfully made indeed you're beautiful and fearfully made if God says hmm I'm gonna provide money for you to get the biggest toy God is gonna provide that but the gift that is most important in this season is the gift that we are given of Jesus Christ, our Savior, that came to save all of us and to take away the sin of the world. So boys and girls, hope you have enjoyed the lesson. If you have enjoyed the lesson, come for yourself. <laughs> Appreciate the person seated next to you. And that is so wonderful. Boys and girls, our memory verse for today is from Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5. Say again, Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5. It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Let's do together. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5. It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart heart amen and even as we have learned today about joseph dream one thing that we have learned about joseph dream is that do not be afraid and also joseph obeyed so we should obey you should obey teacher veronica should obey we should live in obedience and even as we can see here from the picture we see the parents of their uh, our savior jesus christ and we can see in this scenario we can see baby jesus and we have the parents who are here mary and joseph and there's some visitors who have come to visit to see who is this being born and even as uh, uh from jesus christ was born because he is our savior as you can see from here this says jesus christ our savior remember what the angel told joseph that you get uh, Mary will get a son called Emmanuel, which means God with us, who is the savior of the world from all the sins of the world. So, Jesus Christ, our savior. So, even as we celebrate Christmas, remember you have the perfect gift Jesus Christ, our savior. So, enjoy your time, enjoy your holiday. I love you all. Bye bye. Teacher Veronica loves you.